on the international front. What a launch pad we have here in Paris tonight. In the backs, also a debut for 19-year-old son of legend Emil Romy in Intermac. In fact, the whole back line is either from Toulouse or Clermont in 2013, which followed their Grand Slam season of 2012. And it's Gareth Anscombe, trusted with the number 10 shirt, started there in three Inside. of the four November Inside. internationals, who gets Rachel, Wales four, four underway in the drizzle here in Paris. The rain started after a dry day okay, about two it. hours ago. What effect will that have, especially when you look at the size? Oh, carried on by Laura. Here's Para. A bit of tempo about this French attack. It might end up with more than tempo and maybe a try. There is Morgan Para. Cami Lopez. Is there an opportunity on the outside here? Jonathan Davis has to do some good defensive work in there. For Wales, he's been playing at number eight recently for the Scarlets due to macro injuries. George North at the second attempt. Look at the power forward, get support from Ross Moriarty, and both sets of players are finding it so difficult out there. Shows the depth and the strength of this back row despite those injuries. If this behemoth pack gets moving, you'll be in trouble. Here is Intermac. Standing in the 10 position that time. He started three times at 10 on that French junior side that, that won the championships in France last summer in Bézier, beating England well in the final. So he's obviously very confident in both positions. Here is Vaha Mahina, now Paul Willemse. Style on the Guinness Six Nations stage. And Intermac is caught by Jonathan Davis. Started the last six tests for the okay, Lions. The youngster against the experience of the Fox. Here is Kami Lopez. Now it's Wesley. Fafana might be short. Slightly on numbers on the outside here. Wales, because here is UJ to explore that lack of numbers for Wales. Opposed to it is Gerardo, the uh, French captain. Now it's into Mac. Uh, that's beautifully red. Running onto the ball at pace is the Wales fullback, Liam no. Williams. Efficiently completed. Here is Lopez. This time it's into Mac who drops the ball. The advantage is over. The chase is on. Back goes Maxi Medar. And that's clever, quick work from Maxi Medar. And a loose head. Thomas Williams for George North to contest for it in the air. And off goes into Mac and he's hit hard. And Thomas Williams is heavily involved, shall we say, at the moment. The two smallest guys on the field, probably. Thomas Williams in the rain. Back goes Gareth Davis. He can't hang on to it. Does the ball go for? And in come France with Intermac with the intercept. Break by Gail Fiku. Are they going to try and spin it wide through Vahamahina? They are. Oh, it's going to be intercepted. And it's George North, who is the hero for Wales again. How often has he been that man in that red shirt? To stop this tide of blue jerseys at the moment. Finding a way back into this game again with five minutes to go. Can they re retain possession? Thank you. Penalty won't be enough. They need more than that now. Figo just the man to provide it. Here's Arthur Aturia. Forward pass. And a forward pass. And that Wainwright looking to time his moment to get over the ball. Now Cami Lopez. Here is Intermac. Tipperick with a tackle. Desperate defence from Wales. Lee Wayne Barnes is happy with that. Cami Lopez. And there's a little bit of space here. Now it's Intermac. To Gail Ficku, plenty of Welsh numbers in defence. Sarah, quick ball, inside ball. Cami Lopez was in possession. Now Jonathan Davis goes down on it for Wales. He hasn't. Now they just got to get the ball off the field. And
and will smash the ball towards Montmartre. The final score here in Paris, almost unbelievably. France 19, Wales 24.